So I'm currently single. <laughs> and I'm dating. But there's one that I like, like more than the rest. But we have an issue. I'm really mean to him. Like, I'm really mean to him. Like, okay. I insult him all the time. And he loves it. Hey guys, so today's reaction is about a lady that thinks it's totally cool. She's allowed to insult and berate and emasculate the dude she's messing around with. But before I continue, please like and subscribe. Which is fine, it works, but then... Because like the way that I think is, is that if you are not, if you don't put these guys on check, they think you stupid. <laughs> and he ignores me when I'm nice to him, but if I mean to him, he, he talks to me. So like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anybody ever asked you, was you crazy? And there it is. Now, off the bat, you can see she's a lively, aggressive type of, you know, New Yorker. I mean, she speaks her mind. She goes on what she wants. And obviously, she's dating. So there's... She's having a rotation just like a guy. These modern women no different than a dude. You get what I'm saying? And then she's saying the issue is that she can just insult him and he's okay with it. Now, that's kind of crazy. She looks crazy as according to Steve. That guy's probably crazy. I mean, crazy people do attract for the intensity, for the crazy sex, if that's if that is supposed to be, if it's happening. But apart from that, two crazy people together. They don't last very long. But as it relates to this dude and this situation, I will say this. Those him is because he comes off or he exudes a feminine energy. He doesn't have a backbone to him. And she's a more aggressive masculine type of person in the relationship. So she's going to choose that because if this was like an alpha dude, a true, truly aggressive guy, some guy would have some level of common sense, backbone to him. It's not going to happen. I, I guess the other guys she's dating, she realized she can't get away with that. <laughs> but with this dude, she can. Now, even then, at some point, he's going to snap out of it. Hopefully. But you have some men that they don't. And one of the reasons that they're grown up in a very female-dominated household, particular female, a, fe a lot of females around, and so because of that they are molded to behave like this at some point or you know there wasn't a father figure around or the father figure is a bit masculine or you know for the most part he has been brainwashed you know to believe to be this nice guy and that's typically what he's like a nice guy and i think you know he's attracted to what he grew up around because let's be honest guys if you grew up with an aggressive mother, it's more likely that you would choose someone that imitate that parent. And conversely, if as a female, if you grew up with a very aggressive father, you're going to attract to see this type of man. So, you know, how we, your family growing and so forth does affect our future partners. And I think this guy is just... He's, about, he's, just, he's just weak to a certain extent. Now, it could be a game. It could be really a game. But let's see what Steve's response is to this. All the best ones are crazy. <laughs> Come on, the fun ones are crazy. Everybody knows this. So, you're mean to a man, and he likes it. Likes it. Let me tell you something about men. We will tolerate crazy to get what we want. See this crazy you pulling? He taking it right now because he wants something. You all haven't been in a physical relationship? Me and him? Yeah. No. Well, after you are in the physical relationship, this gonna be over. Well, look at that, Steve. Great point. For once, you know, I have to give him credit because typically, you know, the Steve panders to women. I mean, look at this audience. They are mostly females. And so why she can like, hey, she can embellish on taking all his praises from the female voices. And she did state it. She's crazy. Steve says it himself, you're crazy. Crazy ones are typically the ones that have great bedroom action, great fun, they're adventurous. It is same, at the same time, they're more likely to, to be uncooperative, defy you at times. I mean, they're more likely to go and sleep around and, you know, you don't, like, you don't want that. And I think 
as much as this guy appear thirsty very dependent on this woman he's trying to gain her approval i think it's a game too i think at some point he's going to have to like bounce but not till he has get the actual end goal which is to hit it and go <laughs> and once he's gone he say bye bye you crazy he's gonna leave he's gonna leave crazy town now whether it's true or not we don't know you know maybe the guy is truly a beta simp like an idiot without any spine but we soon find out no okay okay <laughs> Oh, oh, listen to me. See, ain't no dude just gonna put up with this crazy unless he wants something. You're mean to the guy. He likes it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, hell no. Don't. He like what he think is gonna get him. I disagree. I didn't hear you. I, I disagree because I think he's used to so many women just being nice to him and not telling him like to his face. And I, I don't do that. What, what are you looking for here? Do you, do you want a relationship? What's, what's the question? I mean, I don't want a relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm dating. You're dating? Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta. No, see, no, yes you do. But like Meghan Markle didn't get where she got just like because she set, she settled. What do Prince Harry White got to do with this? Yeah, see. You just you gotta you know you gotta date you gotta test the waters you gotta test the you waters. You know what? Still holding her You're ground. Right. She believes she's what the, the prize. She's the one that has all the cards in her hand. But the truth is, I think not. Now the guy again could be. A spineless, you know, nice guy, you know, has very little backbone, he just walks over him. But at some point, once he gets what he gets, he's gone because he'd realize it's not worth dealing with a woman that exudes so much masculine energy, so much take charge, so much aggressiveness. If if she's fighting with Steve right now, and guess what? Steve is a dude. She's telling about another dude, how dudes think. Then why would you think entering into a relationship with her would last very long? Any guy that marries this woman is, unless she's changed, you know, a 180, she found God. Outside of that, I would say no, run. She's not worth it. <laughs> okay, don't shack up with her. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Because at some point, you're going to have so much headache. I mean, she's going to want to check you. And I'm like, nah. The thing is, you have to check women. Because women always test you. That's the catch. Women are always test. So you have to check her and say, who are you talking to? Nah. You're not going to allow this. But, hey. For fellows who, who have seen this, stand your ground. Elevate yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, and don't take any foolishness from a female if you desire their respect and love in the long run. That's my two cents. Please like and subscribe. Until then, bless.